morning, starting off the vlog, as I do every day in the car, <laughs> on the way to bar. We've just been talking this morning. I was talking to my boyfriend, Drew, about this weekend. So tomorrow is Saturday. It's his dad's birthday and their anniversary. So he's going over to their house uh, tomorrow for that day. And so that means that I'm gonna use Saturday to work hopefully in the glass studio. And then Sunday I'll go down probably and then we can just like do something together on that day. But the following weekend is my birthday. Um, what's today? The 18th, so it's in nine days. I'll be 30 in nine days. <laughs> oh my god. So we've just been chatting like with a couple other people um, about like what we're planning on doing for that weekend and we've decided that we want to go camping. And so right now we're trying to figure out like which camping spot we want to go to. So the both the two that we're looking at have pros and cons. Ravenbald is um, a really high elevation, kind of in Blue Ridge, and it's like got great hiking and great views. Camping will be a little bit easier there. Then there's also Mount Yona, and Mount Yona is a little bit closer to Atlanta. Has first come first serve camping, so a little bit more like limited camping, uh, but it has a vineyard. Yona is also primitive camping, so you take all of your gear up the three mile hike to the plateau where the camping is, and it, that's it, and then you're there. So it can be a little bit difficult for some people to get their stuff up there. That will be next weekend, um, and of course I'll take you along. You can come hang out, whichever mountain we choose to go to. I'm really excited for, for camping. Okay, great workout. Another day of like new stuff. New stuff, different stuff, hard stuff. Um, 54 minutes, 53 minutes, and 481 calories. That was tough. So I'm going home right now. I was gonna stop at UPS to return my AT&T modem and run to Old Navy to return those shirts that I didn't end up liking. But I got a text from a girl in my grad cohort. Um, she's like a third year as well with me and she does like a lot of metal work. And she, like I asked her if she would be able to show me like a couple things in terms of like welding and like bending some steel rod. And so she said that she'd be able to. And she just texted me today to say, literally I had just gotten to class, class had just started. And she was like, I'll be there in 45 minutes. I just need to do a couple things in there. And um, obviously my class goes for 53 minutes. So I just text her back, it's almost one, let her know what I was doing, and then I could be there probably in an hour. I just realized that I'm gonna have to wear jeans to go weld. <laughs> it's so hot. I guess the, the metal shop is at least air conditioned, um, but my studio is obviously not. So maybe, I, I guess I could, if I'm gonna stay there a bit longer, I can just like take a change of clothes with me and put on shorts. <laughs> eating the last, drinking the last, consuming the last of this muscle milk that I have. I got a huge pack of these from Sam's and this is finally the last one. Ugh, these are so gross. Uh, the whole thing is like 20, no, 40, 40, 48. Wow. Okay. I didn't realize that. 48 grams of protein in one of these. I filmed the sock rack because it looked like they had a lot of new styles out at Pure Bar. But guess what I got? You've been expecting me and I have. This is a very special package. Very similar to what I filmed when I was at Pure Bar. Hi, yes, I see you. I know that you're here. Hi. <laughs> you're so cute. You're so cute. Can you, can you, can you, can you, just can you? <laughs> I'm trying to open this. <laughs> oh yes, I am. So I got a package. Um, Tabby Noir. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is the first pair of socks that I got. It's actually a Disney, uh, I guess, collab, and it's a little mini with uh, rhinestones on it. But the favorite, my favorite part, I mean, other than this, this is so cute. And it, actually, I didn't realize it was like going to be this like space dye gray. I love these. Uh, the Grips are little minis. That is so 
cute. Oh, I'm obsessed with these. I've been wanting them. They have other, like, Disney ones or whatever. Dorian. <laughs> they have other Disney ones, but I really like those the best. They had some new stuff for fall, um, so that's what these are. And I actually might need to take these off so that you can see the detail. It's weird that they have them on that. But anyway, so, oh, it's also super weird that they put them inside of each other. This is a gorgeous, um, it's like, let's see, meshy on top with these really, really pretty, like, Swarovski looking rhinestone things. Logo is pink embroidered. I think that is really pretty. It has a standard grips on the bottom and like a nice light gray. These are gorgeous. So this is a pair of black sparkle. Can you kind of see the sparkle? Kind of, you can kind of see the sparkle. But what I really liked about these was that the foot is like a lace, a dainty. It has like a light pink embroidered uh, tabby thing. I'm gonna put it on just so that you can see kind of what this is supposed to look like. This is where I keep my collection of pure bar and like tabby noir grip socks. This doesn't really fit that well. I have a bunch that are dirty, obviously, but this is what I have like stock of. This was an accidental purchase. I thought that they were just camo and then I put them on and I was like, oh geez. <laughs> I don't wear these very often. Uh, maybe twice ever. And then it just goes up here on my little rack. So hopefully I don't forget it whenever I leave because it's right by the front door. Also, this is like headbands, keys, Dorian's stuff, masks, and then just like my bike lock, things like that. Sunglasses. The is strawberry, peach, raspberry, banana, oats, flaxseed, goji berry. And I added chia seeds and cacao powder. And then I got as much as the peanut butter out of here as I could, but I normally like to put a little bit more in. And obviously unsweetened almond milk. Mm -mm. So good. It is 2 15 ish, and I'm on the way to studio to work in the metal shop. I knew I was forgetting something, but I didn't know what. I left my ear my AirPods headphones. They might have another pair with the string. I think I do. The string, you know, the old school. I just, uh, I really prefer the cordless, the cord free, you know, like the freedom. Welcome to the metal shop at the Thomas Street Art Center, that same place where my glass studio is located. Here's a quick tour of the shop. This is Kelsey. She's helping me learn how to weld. So she was just showing me some of the tools before we got started. She just cut some metal. I had to do it with, with the rod. And then I spent some time um, grinding those edges. After grinding and beveling the edges of the metal so it was nice and smooth, you are able to put it through this like pasta flattening looking machine. It's just a tool so that you can curve the metal. You can see it going up there, going out. So I had to do that with all the pieces. And in order to get like more of a curve, because you can't just go ahead and like get like a super, super curved line, you have to progressively tighten those two bars together, and so you have to put it through multiple times. Just showing you uh, the beveled edges on the rod that I curved. So the beveled edges are from the angle grinder, and it just makes it easier to weld them. Man, so out of breath from curving these. The steel. Alright, so this is half of my umbrella so far. I don't know if it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Man, I really do not want to stop. It's like six o'clock and I'm like totally on a roll and I'm figuring it out. I'm wondering if it's worth it. Like to 
leave and like let Dorian out of his crate and not come back today because that's what that means. Me leaving now would mean that I'm not coming back. And I mean, I've been here since like two, three hours. I got like a lot done in that amount of time. And like, obviously I've gotten like halfway done on this thing. So like another hour, I might be done. It'll be seven and be getting dark. Like, am I gonna just push it for that final hour? Or like come back and make it like a way longer sort of venture to like have to like restart after I'm like really in the groove right now. I think it makes sense just to keep going. If I get super tired, I'm gonna have some chips, a bag of crisps, packet of crisps. And if I'm like super tired, then I'll leave, but I feel like I wanna just like keep going. I'll maybe get like another hour. I'm still not done within that hour, then I'll call it, but I think I'm gonna try to push it. I don't think it will matter because it's going to be turned on its side. So, sit. Oh, I'm so excited. There's my feet for scale. Yay, 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 yay. I did a really stupid thing though. I, do you see this right here? And up there. I burned the crap out of my hand through the latex glove, touching something really, really hot that had just been. <sighs> welded. So now I have really strange blisters like on the side of my hand. That's just a callus, but that one and then this one. Ouch, it still hurts. I used some burn cream and burn spray. We are on the way home. 7.30. Going home to get my puppy. I honestly, I hate the smell of welding. It reminds me very strongly of a guy that I used to date, like my ex-boyfriend. Um, he was like, he would not like being called this, but he was a welder essentially, like he was a fabricator, metal fabricator, um, and he welded all the time, and he always smelled like metal dust, and then I didn't know what it was until I like learned how to weld. The gas from the welding tank, he always smelled like that, and I never knew what it was. So, it just like reminds me of him. <laughs> narcissistic psychopath <laughs> yeah he was actually in one of my videos uh, I don't know if his face I think it was just like he did a, it was like a voiceover it was like redneck does my voiceover or something and I did like an encaustic painting so I'm gonna have to go get more steel probably this weekend I don't know no rush really on that uh, I want to clean up the umbrella that I did like some of the welds like weren't really that good especially when I had first started and I had my gas up was too high um, and then once I got it to the right like you know all the settings were correct it was like really really easy to do so I am so excited to have this go like I just I cannot express that enough like it, it opens up, up so many like opportunities and options and just like a whole new like scheme of like art making like being able to fabricate metal and have like that structurally sound sort of base. It was exhausting and I didn't know the, if the umbrella was going to work out or not. By the end of it I was like I'm going to need like another whole another like um like panel but I just like pulled it really really tight. I got like clamps out like clamp it so that I could like put extra weight on it to pull it together and I was able to do it and I was so excited and it is strong and it is awesome. I am so excited. But some of, the, because I did that pulling, so I pulled them together, some of the curves are like a little bit like wonky. Obviously it wasn't perfect the way that I was curving them with that um, machine thing. So I might have to spend some time, 
one, grinding down some of those Good evening. I am watching the CrossFit games here. Watching people work out. With Laura Hor Horvath, I think. She's Hungarian, but she was a rock climber before, a competitive rock climber, so I really do actually like her a lot as a person. I'm having, oh, Dorian is sitting directly next to me and this is his second time like farting. Thank you. Ugh. I have this wild basin boozy sparkling water this, this is really good i got a whenever the mix the pack whatever i think it's like 12 or something literally like two months ago i think and i'm i think i have three left i just don't really drink that often but um these are really really good so i don't really understand what's happening right now with the crossfit games it's really hard to like i, I don't know I, I can't even try to explain it but i'm annoyed that they like spoiled who won like for I even got to see the like other athletes compete like I figured that that person would win but also like thanks for the spoilers like just as I was like scrolling to find like maybe one video that had all of them kind of like highlights of it no they don't have that they literally just had the scores each athlete is being filmed individually and they have individual vi individual videos for each one so you, there's like 60 videos that are popped up i'm like i'm not about to watch this how long with for event one okay like that's all of the events they have individual videos for everyone <sighs> i don't like how they did it it's dumb I want to show you my outfit because I think it's really cute. So this sports bra from um, Victoria's Secret. It's like a long line one. I don't know. And then these pants are purple. And then there's like this white burnout shirt that's like kind of loose and like you can kind of wear it like this. But I just think this is so cute. I realized I forgot to end the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about welding if you've never done it before. Dory and I are in bed with the proper amount of space for each of us. I hope you guys have a really great night. Like and subscribe to be notified for when we sporadically post and I'll see you guys tomorrow.